On the evening of Wednesday, October 30th, filmmakers, family, and friends filled the auditorium at the Oxford 7th Theater for ONTV's sixth annual Wildwood Film Festival. The event showcased the films created during the Film Challenge, which kicked off on Thursday, October 24th. Nine teams were assigned a prop, location, and a random line of dialogue and challenged to create a short film in about five days. The deadline was 6 p.m. on October 29th when a panel of judges would view each film and award points for technical achievement and creativity. The winners were announced at the end of the film festival on the 30th. Films this year were an interesting, uh, eclectic group. Uh, a lot of comedy this year, um, a lot of fun. You can tell the, uh, the directors and the producers and the actors had a lot of fun producing their films. Uh, a couple serious, uh, you know, uh, storylines, but all in all it was more lighthearted. Um, the technical aspects of the films, though, across the board have gone up. So you know uh, people are anticipating the film festival coming this time of year and um, we're getting we're starting to see filmmakers who are actually really applying the the software and the hardware to uh, to give a good presentation for their films. Taking first place in the youth category were the Upland Hills players who submitted Rock Collectors 2, a sequel to the film they produced last year. So when it happened, I was extremely excited, and to be honest, I'm still slightly shaking from that excitement. <laughs> Did you have uh, fun putting the film together? Describe that uh, process. Yeah, there were a few um, bloopers, as yeah. the team likes long. to call it. It took a lot of the time, but... We all played a part. It's like a massive community, my school. That's why I called it the Upland Hills Players, or rather my dad called it the Upland Hills Players. <laughs> Winning third place in the adult category was The Sacrifice, produced by Team Cinefilms. We have spent the last 20 minutes just posting it on our socials, so I hope that gives us enough, uh, gives everyone enough traction to really pursue uh, art in general, but more specifically working with um, you know, local artists together and, and making things that are awesome like this. It's important to create no matter what you got going for you. Yeah, we went to school, but that's because we've been creating since we were kids. Yep. And like we finally were like we want to take it professional. So like seriously, get your iPhone, get your anything and just make a film. It is so worth your while. Yeah. <laughs> Taking second place was Wildcat Gold, produced by Fracker Films. The team won the youth division in 2017 and took second place overall last year. I was happy about it. I really was. Um, it's nice to just see that we put all that work into it and see that it pays off with an award and stuff. Talk about the experience of making the film. Why, why do you take part? Why do you do it? Um, well, I just really enjoy creating something, being creative with it, um, and just it's a cool thing to do with my friends. And named the winner of the 2019 Wildwood Film Festival was Witched, produced by Unreasonable Productions. The team also took first place back in 2016. Well, it started with the idea of um, being labeled and then turning that around to do something good with it. And so, um, and we got to wear witch hats and play with dry ice. And, and so we just had fun with this and, and um, we just enjoy doing this so much. It's our chance to be creative. My whole family gets involved, plus my, my beautiful friends, and we, we love it. So it was wonderful to have, well, Mindy's a great director. She is. She's very giving. Yes. <laughs> she had everything <laughs> very well organized. Yeah. So that helps. Yeah. So. It, it showed. It yes, yes, definitely. Yes. We do it every year, one, to support SOS at the high school, students offering support, uh, the suicide pre prevention program at Lake Orion High School. And, uh, but, Number two, the main thing is to get people out of their comfort zone. Grab a camera, go try to make a film. It's not as easy as you think. And to dedicate, you know, three days, four days together to put something together in a limited amount of time and have it presented, um, you know, on the big screen, which is um, not, not everybody gets a chance to see their work on the big screen. ONTV would like to thank sponsors 20 Front Street, Flip Spot, and Orion Oaks Dental for their support. All of the short films submitted will air on local cable TV. You can also find them on our Orion ONTV YouTube channel. In Oxford, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.